Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a new video. Now in this video we're going to take a look at this SRS airbag control module. I fetched it from the car from a friend of mine who unfortunately trashed its car at the Nordschleife at the track. So I thought, yeah, let's just take this module and crack it open and see what's inside of this thing as it's labeled forward. So it should be installed like this in the car with the engine being here and just the front of the car being here because this most likely will contain an accelerometer that's used to actually measure the impact and decide whether the side airbag should pop or both of the front airbags should go. So let's just crack it open. This module is made by Temic, which actually manufactures a lot of all other uh, automobile stuff. So let's actually try to crack it open since there are no screws inside of this thing. I think that this will be a challenge. We might need to use a hammer. Maybe we can use a flat hat to poke in between. Yeah, this will work. There you go. There it is. So as I said, it's made by Temic. It's labeled Temic on the PCB. And let's see if the connector isn't soldered from the bottom. So I suppose that it's only soldered from the top. And there is a big capacitor inside of this thing. You can barely see it at that angle. And I assume that that's glued down. They have molded the connector into the plastic. That's rather unfortunate. But it is interesting to see how they have done this. I do know that there's a fairly high standard for airbag modules to be met. So opening it will most certainly destroy it. So I don't recommend that. Also, I'm not sure if it's a good idea to actually reuse one of these airbag control mod modules from a crashed car since, yeah, it's the car has already crashed and I'm not sure if there will be a flag um, set on the control module that might uh, cause the airbags to go off in your new car. So. I think I need to grab my plastic cutters for this. I do think that these will do the job. So let's just cut the connector free. On this side, there we can. So it's really interesting because there's a special technique obviously for creating this device. Oh, it's also yeah, we are just going to cut it over here. So these things are built to survive a crash. That's for sure. Which is their job, obviously. And there's a big capacitor inside of this thing, presumably to actually store the ignition charge in the event that the uh, battery goes flat or gets shorted. There you go. Oh, oh, the capacitor is held in place by inside of the plastic case. And they've used two clips to connect to the capacitor, which is a very big capacitor. I think that this is a indicator to check if the airbag module actually triggered. I think that either this one or this one is the accelerometer. They don't look like they're soldered. No, they're not soldered. This is really strange. So they're using some, some kind of a uh, cutting connector has a little knife edge on the side of the pin and presumably that cuts itself into the uh, through hole cylinder that the pins will 
actually go through. So I assume that the solder uh, soldering joints were uh, too were not reliable enough. So they proceeded to use this kind of a uh, a trick. Quite interesting. Quite interesting. Now all these components have to meet specific regulations in order to be used in this kind of a safety uh, application. So let's actually see which IC is what. Let's google the IC names. So let's start with the bottom. This is an L9888 ICJQ. I just noticed that on none of the chips there is a arrow pointing towards the front of the accelerometer. So it might has a accelerometer built into the IC, but I don't think that's very likely. Schmidt. So this white thingy, I think it's a visual fuse. It's produced by Schmidt. That looks to be a processor. And the other one is an L9848. And that also looks to be a processor. So I'm sure that at least one of these should be an accelerometer. Ah, this is a high side driver. Okay, well, it looks kind of big for me. So let's see what this chip is. So this is an EEPROM. As I said, I already thought that there might be some storage inside of this airbag control module. And this is an EEPROM. So this should be the main processor, which is... I do recognize this logo, but I don't remember the name. So let's see what this is. This is a microchip from 2C508A. So this is also an... I see. Yeah, this is also an IC. I wonder if that's maybe an IC with an integrated accelerometer. Because we haven't found the accelerometer yet. And to me it looks to be quite expensive to lay down a few of these ICs just for the accelerometer. Or is this the accelerometer? I can Google it, but I don't think that the number will match any results. So we found the accelerometer. It's this one. This is a high G sensor. It's let's see what the limits are of this thing. It's made by analog devices, and it doesn't really match the full number, but that's okay. There are single axis and dual axis variants of this thing, and I presume that there's one axis on this axis and one on this, so that they're using. Uh, all the axes to actually measure the axis of impact. That was a lot of axes in one sentence. Let's just open a random one. Measure accelerations of up to 50 G's or 70. They can both measure dynamic acceleration, vibration or static acceleration, gravity. So that's really cool. 400 Hertz, so that seems to be enough would say filters I'm wondering yeah they have an X out and an Y out so it's an analog signal that this thing will most probably process so this needs to have um, quite a good analog front end then with I presume some hardware filtering otherwise the thing might go off on accident because of the jitter so yeah it's quite interesting thing uh, this controller and I think that the EEPROM is also used for the configuration of this device because I do think that there might be a few un unused outputs and such so yeah quite interesting to see such a module now I do have another module that I'd like to open and I'm hoping that that will be a lot less troublesome and messy and uh, that's this one and it uses Torx so I'll need to get my screwdriver set yeah it works 
Now I'm not sure what this is. I just grabbed it from his car and I said, yo, I'm going to take this. And he said, well, if you get rid of it, I won't have to get rid of it. So, they're using special screws for this. So, let's see. Oh, by the way, this is the label of the device. And nothing is written on here. And to me, it might be some kind of power device. So, let's see. This is no power device. But what is it? What is it then? Is it an analog amplifier? It looks to be. I do know that this microchip is created by the same company as labeled this device. So, quite interesting. 4 MHz crystal oscillator. This is probably a crystal oscillator as well. It's really strange that there is no analog interface on this connector, but let's just try and get this can off. Why are they using a ovenized device for this? I think. Bring out the big boys. Wrap this around. What in heaven's name is this thing? It's a ceramic PCB, that's that's one thing, and I've destroyed it completely. Could this be another accelerometer? Because there is a label on here that sh states the front of the device. I think that this might also be an airbag control module. Because why would you label the front of the device? Oh wow, wasn't expecting that, I just took it. Like, he didn't even know what this thing was and I he didn't also know where it came from and I am afraid. That's Alright, there you go, that's better. So most probably this is also an airbag control module. So I guess that this is the main filter for the... What the fuck is this? They just gunked it full at the back side. They just gunked it. They put a shitload of glue in there. So this definitely needs to be some kind of high reliability device. Otherwise they didn't put that much glue on there. And they didn't solder these connections too. From what I can see. So they use the same technique as with this uh, control module. With those cutting edges that's penetrated the copper. The copper through holes. So wow. So two airbag control modules presumably. So, yeah, well, that's all I have for today. I hope you find this uh, video interesting. If you did, please uh, don't forget to let me know down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, hey, hello. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well, if you want, you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them. And don't forget to subscribe and like, so you always get notified of my new videos.